Hi, I'm Carlos, and this is Kingdoms, where all your nerdy dreams come true. In today's episode of Kingdoms and Friends, we have Cyrus from Mental Misplay and Corbin from the Brainstorm Brewery. This episode of Kingdoms and Friends is sponsored by us here at Kingdoms. Are you looking for some cool playmats to spice up your EDH games? Some dice or tokens to keep your board looking sharp? Then head on over to kingdoms.tv slash merch and check out our new gear. Our first guest today is Cyrus from Mental Misplay. We've had Alan from Mental Misplay on the show before, but I'm pumped to have some West Coast representation today. Mental Misplay focuses on CDH gameplay, but they have their own jank that they bring that keeps it interesting. Cyrus specifically is the MTG Slug Lord and one of the main moderators of the Toxrel Discord. You can find them on YouTube at Mental Misplay, on Twitter Misplay Mental, and Twitch Mental underscore Misplay. Our second guest is Corbin from Brainstorm Brewery. Corbin is one of the hosts of the Brainstorm Brewery podcast. They discuss magic finance, set reviews, have fun guests, and a lot more. Corbin specifically is an esports announcer for Wizards of the Coast, Overwatch, and Call of Duty. You can find Brainstorm Brewery podcast at brainstormbrewery.com and Corbin at C Hostler on Twitter. We have an awesome time having these great guests on our show. If there are any others that you think we should reach out to and have on, let us know down in the comments. Also, if you want us to keep producing videos each week, consider liking this video, subscribing to the channel, and becoming a patron. You can do so over at patreon.com slash kingdoms TV. You get access to our private discord, game nights, and a bunch more. I think it'll be worth your time. And with that, let's check out our commanders and our starting hands for our game today. First, we have Bryce from Kingdoms. He is playing the Scarab God, and his starting hand includes a snow-covered island, two snow-covered swamps, Arcane Signet, Paradox Haze, Risen Executioner, and Liliana's Mastery. Second, we have Cyrus from Mental Misplay, playing Timna the Weaver and Ikris Shadiki the Usurper. Their starting hand includes a Forest, Exotic Orchard, Jungle Hollow, Scoured Barrens, Souls Attendant, Bloom Tender, and Daxos Blessed by the Sun. I am third, playing Tovalar, Dire Overlord. I have a starting hand including a Mountain, Fabled Passage, Rogue's Passage, Arbor Elf, Wild Growth, Tybalt's Trickery, and Spirit of the Hunt. Fourth, we have Corbin from the Brainstorm Brewery playing Carador Ghost Chieftain. His starting hand includes Overgrown Tomb, Urborg Tomb of Yagmoth, Swords to Plowshares, Arashards, Greater Good, Yose the Morning Star, and Ondu Inversion. Alright, let's play some magic. Tap upkeep draw, and I will play a snow covered swamp and pass the turn. All right, untap upkeep and draw. We will play this scoured barons gaining a life already on theme and pass the turn. Draw for turn. Unfortunately, I didn't draw a regular basic forest, so no first turns for me. I'm gonna play this fabled passage, crack it, put a tapped forest into play, and pass the turn. All right, draw for my turn. Play backside of the Sandu Inversion, which is on to Sky Ruins, tapped and pass the turn. Untap, upkeep, draw. I'll play another Snow Covered Swamp. Tap both of them to play an Arcane Signet and pass the turn. All right, untap, <laughs> upkeep, draw for turn. Just a Jungle Hollow as land and a Soul Warden. Oh, and baby. Pass. It begins. I will draw for turn. I'll play a um, basic mountain, and I will play a rampant growth for another forest and pass the turn. Draw for turn. I'm going to play Celestia Sanctuary tapped, picking up this card, moving to my cleanup, discarding Yose, and passing the turn. Untap, upkeep, draw, play a snow-covered swamp. I'm going to tap all four for a Risen Executioner. I'm going to gain a life. What does that one do? Pass turn. It's a zombie lord, so other zombies get plus one, plus one. And then I can cast this from my graveyard if I pay a colorless more to cast it for each creature card in my graveyard. And it's Interesting. Yeah, and that's cool. this creature can't block, so I can't block anything with this one. Yeah, untap, upkeep, and draw. I'm going to play an Exotic Orchard. I think I will cast Temna and gain a life and then go to combat 
Soul and Warden getting in beats. What? Soul Warden, where is Soul Warden beats gonna go? Am I a scared of come on up, come a on zombie? Over. Come on over. Get the Ray. Ray. I'm the host. Just come on over here. That that sounds good to me. Uh, I will pay a life in my second main phase to draw a card with Timna. I will then pass the turn. I'll draw. I'll play a forest. It's land for turn. Tap a forest for a wild growth on this forest. Oh, I'm so dumb. I realized if I would have put my wild growth on my mountain last turn, I could have done wild growth and rampant growth. Oh. I was thinking in my mind, like, I have to put it on a forest, but this isn't Utopia Sprawl. You know, Mistake I have number a, one. <laughs> yeah, I have an Ovalar deck that I'm about to, like, buy. I built the whole list out. And uh, now I'll never make that mistake, so I appreciate it. <laughs> Good, I'm glad. <laughs> I then will pay all my mana and use one for Arbor Elf and one for Tovalar. I'll gain two. And that's my turn. Um, tap, upkeep, draw. I'm going to play Scribbling and an Aura Shards and pass the turn. Upkeep, draw. No covered island. I'm going to tap all five for uh, Liliana's Mastery. I love that and get card. two zombies. Sheesh. And then since Cyrus is gaining so much life, I'm going to attack him for five. I will take it. And then I will pass turn. Untap. Uh, I'll play a forest for turn. We'll go ahead and we got a... Someone else has a white mana making land. Yeah, the Celestia thing. Okay. Yeah. So we'll go two white, two colorless for an Ajani Strength of the Pride. Mm, what does this one do? This one starts with five loyalty counters. I can plus one to gain a life for each creature and planeswalker I control. I can minus two to make an Ajani's Pride Mate. And I can zero if I have... 15 more life than my starting life total. I exile him and each artifact and creature my opponents control. We will minus two and make an Ajani's Pride Mate um, oh, that happens to look a lot like an Eevee. Nice. Um, when this enters the battlefield, I'll gain a life, which will trigger the Pride Mate, and bam. So it has plus one to its 2-2 two -two body. I'm just gonna send the Timna over at you it's corbin right yeah don't do this though <laughs> it's just too little damn i'm not even sending the full three i refuse to block okay i will gain two life oh and trigger a johnny when i gain that life and then second main pay one life and draw a card so i will pass untap draw a card do i want a card or i want to try and kill a johnny that's my decision here definitely go for the planes yeah, but then he just chumps it, and I don't draw a card. Sorry, Corbin. I'm too greedy. No, no, no wrong. How much is it? Three commander damage. Um, I will draw once that hits. I'll play a Rogue's Passage. It's land for turn. I just drew, drew this, so don't judge me. I'm going to play Bear Umbra on Tovalar, and that will be yeah. my turn. Untap up, keep you draw. Am I going to get punished for this? Maybe. I'm going to play Urborg. I'm nice. going to play Kitchen Finks. I have uh, two triggers on that. Gain a life, tick up. Yeah, I've got triggers as well. So I'm going to gain two life. And then I'm going to Aura Shards. I'm going to target the Wild Bro. Do I need the mana? Yeah. Um, no, I'm okay. Okay, I'll pass the turn. Untap, upkeep. Give me something spicy. Draw. That's not spicy. That is a snow covered island. A Johnny needs to go, is what I'm thinking. Just gonna gain life with them. Um, I'm gonna send two zombies at a Johnny. One each. Okay, so one dies and Soul Warden dies. Yeah. I will tap three, and right now I will play a Paradox Haze. Last turn. Uh, untap, upkeep, draw. I will play this Swamp. Uh, we will go white, white for Daxos. Tick down a Johnny. And create a pride mate that looks like a Meowth. Which will trigger Daxos, gaining a life. And then that ticks up this one. Plus four. We'll go to Punchies. Yeah, three, two. We'll go Timna at Carlos, six, six, pride mate at Bryce. Um, before blockers, I'm going to flash in Spirit of the Hunt. It's a 3-3 three, three wolf dude. I'll attempt to block. This is honestly a big greedy waste of the spell, but I'm going to do it anyway. And Morality Spear, the Spirit of the Hunt. Alrighty. 
This guy's Nothing like, else oh, for oh, me oh. then. I'll take two. I'll gain two, which triggers both pride mates. And then second main phase, I will pay two life to draw two cards. Pass. All right, Corbin. Do I need to be afraid of my Umbra dying? If so, I'm going to have to kill the Aura Shards out hey, there. Hey, you're, you're if, if you don't kill my um Bear Umbra, I will warn you at least a full I mean, turn before uh, Aggravated Assault comes out. <laughs> okay, sure. Yeah. As long as I'm not also being swung at with the Umbra, you know? Yeah, yeah. Word chill. Word cool. chill. I think then oh. I pay four to make Tovalara unblockable, and then I swing five commander damage at you, Cyrus. Okay, so that was at yeah, my face. I'm, I'm going to swing it at you because I draw a card. It keeps you away from the activation anyways. I think that's my best bet. So yeah, five commander damage at your face. Got it. Down to 41. I will draw a card. Play a mountain as land for turn. Man, we're just not drawing enough wolves, so I'll pass the turn. Untap, draw for my turn. I'm going to shock in an overgrown tomb, go to 35. I'm going to play a greater good and pass yeah. the turn. Like shards, of a, shards of Alara, I think. Yeah. Right around. I'm going to tap two and two and play Clever Imposter, making a copy of Risen Executioner. Then I'll send these two zombies. This is a 5-5, five, five, and then this is a 6-5 at Cyrus. Or not at Cyrus, at uh, Johnny. Daxos is a 1-2-3-4-5 toughness. Uh, uh, Johnny's just going to eat it. I will pass turn. Untap. Upkeep, nothing. Draw for turn. So we will uh, play a Temple of Silence and scry one. We'll pay three for a Fabro Elder. I'll gain a life. Take up the cats. Then attacks. Carlos, you got any more uh, flash creatures in your hand? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> just, uh, just in case. Timna at Bryce, Bigums, Evie at Carlos. I think we're going to chill with the other two for this turn, actually. Leave some blockies. I'm going to take two and then two Timna. And Carlos, this is an 8-8 eight, eight cat. Very nine. Cool. I will gain two from Timna. I'll take down two to draw two. Uh, I'm going to discard a greed from hand to hand size and pass. All right, and draw for turn. Let's just give him unblockable again. I'll go to attacks and send it at Cyrus. How much is he? He's currently a six six, but I he does have the ability to pay a red, a green, an X, and target wolf or werewolf gets plus X plus zero and trample until end of turn. I'm going to be a jerk and path him. Okay, I will Tibalt's trickery that. Cool. One, two, or three at random. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So one. So mill one card and then go wow. until you get a non-land. Milled my sweet unicorn. Um, and so then I mill until I hit a non-land? Yeah. Merciless execution or eviction. <laughs> oh, I'm down with that. <laughs> Glad that's gone. Do I get to cast this? Let's make sure a different name. They may cast that card without paying its mana cost. Then they put the exiled cards on the bottom of their library in any random order. Wow. All right. I'm going to exile all enchantments. Suck. Carlos. I'm sorry. Any responses? <laughs> um, I can't do anything, though. I'll respond. I will sacrifice Kitchen Finks to Greater Good. The, the first thing that happens is the Kitchen Finks persists back. The Greater Good triggers on the stack. Kitchen Finks trigger, I'll gain two. Aura Shards trigger, I'll destroy the Signet. And then I'll draw three, discard three. I'll discard Olgari Rot Farm, Sheldred, and this Plains. Okay, Bear Umbra is exiled, so now it's only a 4-4. Four, four. Two, three, four, and four more commander up to nine. Draw a card. I'll now play a Arcane Signet. That'll be it. We'll pass. So it's daytime now. It is day. I'll draw. Uh, two spells were cast. By one person, yeah. I played Tybalt's uh, okay. Trickery and the Arcane Signet. I'm going to play Land of War Visionary. Draw a card if it resolves. Play... Twilight Mire for my land and pass the turn. Untap, upkeep, 
Draw. Play Ooh. Field of the Dead. Yeah. Carlos, everything's coming at you. So that's a 4-4 four, four and two 5-4s. I'll get rid of his big blocker if you attack him. Okay. Cyrus, they're coming at your face then. This is collusion. <laughs> Target uh, the big blocker with uh, Chaos Warp. Oh, this could be good for you, though. Chaos Warp, yeah. I'm, I'm into Chaos Warp. Oh. I shuffle and flip the top card. Yep. And if it's a permanent, it comes into play. If not, it stays on top. Top card is uh, land. <laughs> Ah. That is the statistical <laughs> thing that usually happens. <laughs> At least it's exile. Oh. This guy is a 3-3. Three, three. That's 14 damage? Yeah. I'll take it. Going to my second main phase. I'll get my commander out. I will cast the Scarab God. Then I will Ooh. pass turn. Untap. 7, 8, 9, 10 mana? Wow, that's a lot of manas. I will play this pathway on the white side, I think. Boulder Loft Pathway, a white for a uh, Soul's Attendant, five of them will cast Ikra. So I'll gain a life, and then I'll take up this Pride Mate. So we're going to go Big Cat Boy at Bryce, Fabro Elder will go at Corbin, and then Timna will go at Carlos. I'll take three. I will chomp and um, put Scarab God in my hand. <laughs> I'll, I'll take it. So I'll gain a total of seven. Second main, I hit two people, so I will pay two life points to draw two magic cards. That's going to be it for me, though. We'll pass. A lot of toughness. Biggest booty. I like big butts and I cannot lie. <laughs> okay, draw for turn. Oh my goodness. I'll never play another wolf. I started with that one wolf in hand. I was like, okay, <laughs> one wolf in hand. I got my commander. Like, we'll draw some we'll other definitely wolves. draw so many. Yeah. Jeez, <laughs> Louise. Play a command tower. I don't really have a choice. I have to just keep swinging at Cyrus with commander damage. So, pay. I mean, you, well, we I mean, all have choices in life. Maybe I do swing <laughs> one time at Bryce. Are you going to swing at me, Bryce, if I'm open? If you don't swing at me, I won't swing at you. Okay, that's, there we go. All right, I will pay four and make Tovalar unblockable and swing three at you, Cyrus. I will not block. Draw one card. Oh, another werewolf. What? <laughs> We're in the game. I'll play Outland Liberator. This is the one that you can pay one and sack it to destroy an artifact or enchantment. Nice. I'll gain a life from my attendant and tick up Z-Cat. Yeah, I'll pass the turn. In step, I'll tap three mana to cycle this end off a trium. Draw, uh, move to my turn, draw for turn. Play your ball coffers. Yeah, I'm going to tap to cycle my tranquil thicket. How many creatures in graveyard for Carador? Two creatures in my graveyard. You're saying Shieldred. Uh, I'm going to tap the Cabal Coffers for nine. I'm going to cast Ondo Inversion. No, I just got my other werewolf. <laughs> Destroy all non-land permanents. There's now two more creatures in my graveyard for Carador, but I'm going to pass the turn after that. I'll, I'll float three mana. Do I have anything to play with it? No. It's destroyed. Destroy. I'll untap a forest for no reason. Untap, upkeep, draw. I'm going to play an unclaimed territory. I'm going to choose zombie. It's at five for scare. No, no God. decisions to make. I will pass turn. Untappy. Yeah. Keep draw. Okay, we'll pay three for a cultivate. What you growing over there? Whatever I find first, really. Yeah, you don't have any basics right now. Or My ruination either. would have killed you, you know? I don't play ruination, by the way, but... <laughs> I guess I should look for a planes in case someone decides to play a, a blood moon. I took out Blood Moon and Ruination and uh, Magus of the Moon. Then I'll pay three for a Lurus. And then I think we just cast a Soul Sister. Yeah, that's all that's really in here. So we'll cast Soul Warden. I guess since I already tapped my mana incorrectly, I'll continue and just tap out and cast a Bloom Tender. Gain life. <laughs> Pass turn. All right, deck. We, I know you gave me a wolf last turn, but we really, really need, we really need the pack to come out now. All right, draw for turn. Nope. You didn't even make your wolf call. Nope, I should have. <laughs> Three visits. Cinder Glade. I will play Tovalar again and pass. Draw for my turn. 
play Strip Mine, uh, activate Cabal Coffers for seven mana. Strip Mine the Field of the Dead. Eight, green, green. Three more, 11 mana total here. Oh no. Uh, Eerie Ultimatum. Oh, oh nice. No, That's not a nice. Terrifying card. Yeah. <laughs> it gets children back. Then I got triggers for Kitchen Finks, gain two life. Trigger for Land of War, draw a card. Pass right. the turn. I'm done. And your upkeep, sacrifice a creature. Yeah, Which um, you can respond, Bryce, by making a creature. You don't want yes. to sack your uh, Scare of God. So, untap. Probably choose what one creature? of uh, Cyrus's what, small it? creatures, because then he can't play it. Yeah, you're one of your warden thingies, Cyrus, I'll make out of your... Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I missed the trigger. I had a bounce land come into play from this Golgari Rot Farm. I need to pick up a land. Sure. Sounds good. Well, I'll make that and sack it. Draw a card. Play a land for turn. Let's make Clever Imposter. So this is going to be exiled. What's a good target? I know it's going to be a 4-4 four, four and a zombie. Well, you have to choose children. You can stack on your turn the triggers, bring something back, sack it to his children. Yeah, I'll do children. Yeah, I, I'm I'm out. Like, because I can never come back from two children. Yeah, That's a rough one. Okay. This is a definitely a tight spot over here. I will send Scarab God at Carlos. Uh, my turn then. Yep. Trigger, trigger. Um, did you gain life four. from all the creatures that came in? Oh no, I missed the I, I four. For me. Two Five, for me. six, yeah. I was too busy being floored by that eerie ultimatum. Card's <laughs> <laughs> ridiculous. Do I want bloom tender mana in my upkeep? Uh, I mean, sure. Swords to plowshares, the real shieldred. Nice. I gain six. I'll then draw for turn. I will play a swamp. One, two, three, four. Uh, for the Well of Lost Dreams! Whoa, you did it! You got there. Then a white for the Soul Warden. And then three for Vito. Thorn of the Dusk Rose. So I'll gain a life. I will take one damage at Corbin, I think makes the most sense. Take away. I'll go to 41. And I will pay one to draw a card with Will of Lost Streams. That looks like about all I can do this turn. Do I want to attack? Yeah, no, that's a untapped Shieldred. That's a big boy. All right, I pass. Draw a card. Let's play a Reliquary Tower. Play a Beastmaster Ascension. And nice. pass the turn. Untap, upkeep, Shieldred trigger. I'll sacrifice Yose. Yeah, that stands to reason. Oh, I'll talk about Bryce and tap down that, uh... <laughs> you got it. <laughs> yeah, so draw. The... As I start by activating my coffers, I'm going to use my Twilight Mire to go up to 11 total mana, but now two of it will be green. And now I'll go to 12 total mana with three of it being green. And I'll play Woodfall Primus, which costs eight, so I'm going to have four black mana left when this is done. Boom. So does Woodfall Primus resolve? If so, I will target the Well of Lost. I knew it. Uh, <laughs> oh, you got a draw. You, you got a draw. <laughs> I got one draw. Uh, well, you can uh, gain a oh, life. Wait, no, wait, wait. Yeah, Hold you on. Can get yeah. a second I'm going to gain a life when the Woodfall Primus comes into there play. There you go. Yep, 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 yep. And I will draw a card. You got it. Oh, you used it twice. I used it twice. I'm happy now. Pay six, draw two. Oh, no. Worth it. Worth, Worth it. it. <laughs> this is an odd question. Do any of you have anything broken in your graveyards that's a creature? No. Uh, we got a bloom tender and a favor welder. If you're, you use like the word a, broken, uh, I have things. But unicorn. Not broken. What's the best creature, Carlos, that you have? Uh, this one can destroy an artifact or enchantment, and this one Nothing. can, okay, can give fine. wolves okay. plus zero plus three. Okay, I'm good. I'm going to use my four floating mana to cast Conti, targeting. Bryce, I think. Out of uh, spell, frantic uh, search, myriad landscape, and snow covered swamp. I'll put frantic search face down, and then the others go on the bottom of your library. That's pretty good. Oh, for... Corbin, I, I'm sorry for mis triggering so bad, but I'll hit you for one with the veto off that one yeah, life. That's I gave. Fine. Just tell me how much I need to take throughout everything I'm doing. Cool. Well, I'm well, going to the... tap the visionary for green, cycle tranquil thicket, tap for green, and Play Elvish Reclaimer. Okay, we'll do the same thing. I'll gain one, you'll lose one. Kitchen Finks will attack Bryce for three. Okay. And after that, I will pass the turn. 
go to my untap step because of the one going the shiro what it was was i don't yeah, untap. You know, they, yeah so upkeep and then i you get to return a creature card from your graveyard to play because of so the... i got upkeep triggers i'm gonna stack them so my creature comes in first you guys <laughs> lose two because there is an executioner because I got two zombies. And when I cry two. And then I gain one for the creature coming in and make uh, Corbin lose another one. Okay, I'm at 36. <laughs> so many triggers. <laughs> Liking this less and less as we go. Put him back like that, and then I'll draw a card for turn. I'll play Command Tower. Pass at, turn. The, at the end of your turn, Bryce, I'm going to sword the Luris. Okay. Ooh. So I gain, what is it? power yeah. Oh, yeah one two three i'll have you lose three life i understand board has gotten scary all right untap upkeep we're going to sacrifice a creature it's gonna be the soul warden because i have to go for a big dumb play this turn and we'll draw for said turn so we'll just tap out all i think it's ten three six ten lands and do an exsanguinate for eight. Oh, jeez yeah. Could you just leave me out of it, Cyrus? Come on. No um, I could knock a player out completely. Oh, Ripperoni. Oh, shoot. Because I'm going to gain 24 life. Everyone's going to lose 8, and then I have 24 damage to point at someone with Veto. Um, I'm going to respond to the Exsanguinate. Yeah. <laughs> sure. I'm going to cast Frantic Search. Yeah, you can untap so is this exiled? Cup all coffers. Yeah, so I'm gonna well, I'm gonna tap these two, I guess, for it, floating a mana here. So I draw two, then discard two, right? Yeah. Yep. I'll discard Puppeteer Clicker Merciless Eviction. I'll untap the ball coffers and Celestia Sanctuary. It's three lands. Do what? More. You can untap one more land. Bulgari Rock Farm. Three mana floating now. Leave the green in there. Activate the coffers. So I've got green in my pool, and then coffers for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10. So with the green, I'm going to go a second green and a third green. And I'm going to quarter calling for X equals 9, I think, right? It's X or less, so yeah. Was this frantic search go to my graveyard or is it exiled? Yeah, to your uh, graveyard. Action yeah. Rider, exile veto. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, so I guess you all just take 8 and I gain 24. Thank you, Corbin. My go, Cyrus. Uh, yeah, that's all for me. Uh, I'll draw for turn. A creature? What? If I get really lucky, maybe I can stay around? Let's see. We'll play a Realm Walker. The, the downside is you have to choose Wolf or Werewolf. At this point, I need it to be Werewolf for me to have any chance. And then I can look at the top card of my library at any time. Of course, it's neither. Oh, yeah, that was my one play was to maybe play a second creature. So I'll pass Remember turn. this isn't my creature it is you did it <laughs> i'll sacrifice my gaunty to the trigger draw for turn all right i'll send 14 at price down to seven i make offers for 10 i have three creatures in my graveyard this would cost five total so i go up to 11 mana total now two of its green there's my white 12 total pay five for this so I've got seven black mana in my pool. Cast here. With seven black in my pool, I'm going to cast Gaunty. Going down to three in my pool. Targeting Cyrus. The Ooh. Copa Guild Mage. Crested Sunmare. Knight of Autumn. Jeez. Scrubland. The I'm other half. I'm going to have a Knight of Autumn. Sure. So I can cast that. Now I'm going to cast Binding the Old Gods. Target. My token? Yes. I am going to pass the turn after that. Untap in my upkeep. This trigger goes on the stack in response to the trigger. Corbin, I'm going to get your Yosei. So it's exiled and I'm going to create a token of it. Yep. Yeah. Um, I'm going to get Puppeteer Click. With uh, Scarab God? Yep. Okay. So then you'll have an additional trigger from the Puppeteer Click to get a creature from someone else's graveyard. Oh, give me a Bloom Tender. Oh, the Tender or the Elder? Oh, uh, Faber would... Elder, is that one better? Yeah, it yeah, would be yeah. a bigger yeah, creature. Yeah, it gives me more colors. Vigilant. I have three zombies in play, and Scarab Dog trigger goes off, so you'll all lose three life, and I'll scry three. Put them back like that, then I'll draw for turn. These three can attack this turn, these two cannot. I think Cyrus is my best target right now, just because none of my stuff will die. That's... With the whole 
four, four, and then five commander damage. So 13 total with five commander. 12 from 60, so I got a 48. I'm going to tap Faber Elder for the Cleaver Scab. So I pay three, I can tap and sacrifice another zombie, then I create two copies of that sacrifice creature. Go to my instep and my Faber Elder gets exiled. So my turn then? Yep. Yeah. Untap. Upkeep. Draw. It's up to you, Cyrus. Wrath. Wrath of God. Yeah, we're gonna cast a Day of Judgment. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Arab God will go to my hand. I'll activate Elvish Reclaimer in response. Sacrifice this planes. Go get a land. I think the day's gonna resolve without me doing anything, but I'll trigger this after that. I'll get Yavamaya Hollow, but it's that. Okay. Big dead. So, I have... Three triggers from this. Ashenar. And Bryce also has um, Yose. the Yose trigger, which I think will be on top because of turn order. Yeah, so I'll choose targets for my Ashen Rider trigger first. All these are in the mm -hmm. green with the Persist trigger on the stack. Ashen Rider will target the Rose Passage. Sure. And then the Yose trigger is on this stack. So Yose, I'm going to target Corbin. Tap okay. down the rest of your lands. Okay, I'll add mana. And I'll tap your shrine just to make fun or your saga. <laughs> Unlucky. <laughs> the Rogue's Passage gets exiled. The Woodfall Primus and the Kitchen Finks both persist back. I'll gain two life. Now, what's the next coolest land in play? Right we are pretty non... Fall Coffers mm. is pretty cool. You could take that one out. <laughs> that would be an option. I'll hit the Exotic Orchard. Uh, I'll tap it for a green. I think we've resolved the day. Okay. <laughs> then green white for Trellisara Moon Dancer. And then we'll go white. Uh, and then Ailey, Eternal Pilgrim. Then I will. Pass. That's the one that can kill things eventually? It's a 2 3 death touch. I can pay one and sacrifice another creature to gain life equal to its toughness, or I can pay three and sacrifice another creature to exile non land permanent, but only if I'm at 50 or more life. Um, Two I go. Clerics. Yeah. Let's just play for seven, my commander. Yeah, we'll pass the turn. I think I'm dead here. He just can attack me with his dudes, though, and I'm dead, aren't I? If I want to kill you, yeah. Yeah, he has barely seven damage. Yeah. I do, in fact, want to attack you for seven, Bryce. Sorry. It's a good game, though. Yeah, I'm going to play it by him and resolve this, and I'm done. Okay, so that makes it my turn, then. That was the fastest round ever. All right, we will draw for turn. Hey, you didn't play any, any spells, right? Any no, spells? I did not. We'll pay seven for Ikra. I'm going to send this four damage at Corbin. Okay. Uh, I guess I'm at 20. Big punchies. Then I will gain five life. And I'll pick up Trellisara for the life gain. Is Ikra individual triggers or all at once? Whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player. So per, that would be individual trick. Yeah. 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 Takes up. That it's, creature's toughness. But it's what yeah, it's one amount per creature. I will finish up here with a Sarah Ascendant. Oh jeez. And pass the turn. Hard pass on that one. I'll draw for turn. I sure. think what I do is three for Gyre Reach Bandit. And then I send both these at Corbin for seven total, no pumps. No blocks. I'll draw two cards. And you get two beastie boy counters. Oh, yeah, whatever. yeah. It's so dumb. I'm getting freaking wolves now. This is just so <laughs> freaking dumb. All right, I will play a. I'll play Ulrich of the Kralin Horde. When this creature enters the battlefield or transforms into Ulrich of the Kralin Horde, target creature gets plus four, plus four to end a turn. I will pass the turn. Untap, upkeep, draw. All right, Three my death touch. I'll activate my Cabal Coffers. Okay, I have 12 black mana. And in my graveyard, I have an Ashen Rider, an Elvish Reclaimer, a Land War Visionary, four creatures. So instead of costing 10, he's going to cost six total. So this is 12, 13. That gives me two green, white, 14, down to eight, which is seven black and one green, I think, for Carador. So I had eight. Floating after that, go up to 10 mana in my pool, play Ashen Rider. I have two floating after this. I'll target the uh, Sarah Ascendant. I'll uh, pay one and sack it to gain six, which will trigger here. I know the scry, though. I'll just leave it. 
I'm gonna put Journey to Eternity on Ooh, nice. Love that card. That's my kitchen things. Combat send Carlos is gonna kill me. I'm not gonna kill you. All not right. even close. In that, in that case, I'll send five at Cyrus. Yeah, I'll take five. What lands do you have, Cyrus? In play here. Green, black, white, black, another green black, another white black, white. There's basics. Alright, I'm gonna strip mine your fancy looking one. That's the another swamp. Oh, that's a land? Yeah, this is just a swamp. Is that a secret lair or is that like an altar? No, my brother did this altar for me. Okay, I don't want to kill that then. I want to kill that, <laughs> that, that one to the right of that. Yeah, underneath. Yeah, that fancy looking thing. <laughs> that's all I got. Boy, I, this um, is my spirit that's left here after I died. <laughs> it's uh, a ghostly cool. spirit. We're going to pay five for a sanguine bond. Yes. Ooh. Then I'm going to pay three to putrefy Ulrich. Yep. Uh, go to combat. Wing everybody at you, Carlos. She's a five. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, yeah, ten. ten. Yeah, yeah, okay. And then I gain seven, twelve, thirty, fourteen, fifteen, and sanguine bond all the damage over to Corbin. We're dead. The double kill. What a great game and an awesome comeback from Cyrus. Timna is a force to be reckoned with and you shouldn't count out that card draw even when it's not CEDH. Thanks again to Corbin and Cyrus for coming on our show today. They were great guests and I hope you go check out all their content. As always, if you're looking for ways to support us, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and most importantly, consider becoming a patron. It's only $2 a month and you get access to our private Discord, game nights, deck help, and a bunch more. Check it out at patreon.com slash kingdoms TV. We couldn't do this without our patrons, especially our samurai patrons. A special shout out to Revolution Gaming, David Siraj, Jordan Ritchie, and Morton Christensen. You're the pillars of kingdoms. As always, thanks so much for watching and keep it nerdy.